Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use uh, different materials and how to change uh, the properties in material presets. So here I have my rock which I'm going to fall to this plate and demolish. And I'm going to create a couple of other copies so you will be sure that uh, it has all of them has the same properties. And I want to apply this material, uh, metal material for this one. So this will be not rock round and this one will be we have ice material so this is just uh, visual materials not the materials which can which you can change here so and uh, for this one and um well first of all i will create simulation now just to show you how it looks right now uh, also i will move them a little bit just uh, so uh, the motion won't happen inside at one frame okay and then now you can see they start falling and they demolished all and the uh, friction the same everything is the same now I will set for this one, I will set here uh, heavy metal and for this one I will set here ice. And now let me demolish them again. Okay, now I can see that this metal object wasn't demolished and ice was demolished and also its friction is very low. And this one uh, that has concrete material so uh, it has pretty high friction. So this is how just changing one material inside this uh, physics uh, group of properties, material type here, I said ice. You can see how it changes uh, behavior of object. And uh, now let me show you uh, how it works. So first of all, you can you can see here that you can pick uh, material um, using this material type property. But in case you have your own material, physical material, you can apply it. So I can, let's say, pick this uh, concrete uh, object and I will move here my ice material. Maybe you use this physics physical material for other objects. So you want your uh, widget uh, object with widget component use the same material so you can apply it here. And in this case, it will use this applied material, but it will use this. Uh, you can see now this concrete fragments also has low friction and they use this ice material this one but uh, you should know that in this case it will use uh, properties like solidity and uh, destructible property uh, using default uh, material presets and to change uh, default material preset properties you need to create a manager object if you don't have it inside your scene when you will start play mode it will be created automatically here and it will use default properties here you can see this material material presets and every material here at this uh, have this um, properties which you can change but if you want to change them you can create it uh, manually and in this case uh, plugin will not create another one with default properties so now you can apply a fireman script here and now we can change all these properties and this is why uh, metal material was not uh, demolished because it, uh, is it is not destructible and ice as you can see it has destructible checkbox on and heavy metal destructible checkbox is off also it has much higher solidity so but it doesn't matter how high it is if it's not if it's indestructible it will not be demolished no way so uh, let's say I can change here uh, destructible increase this ch check on this destructible property and I can decrease my solidity so next time all the object with heavy metal material also will be possible to demolish but I guess it's not real so by default this property is off and another thing you can see that it has this density property and every uh, let's say ice has much lower density just one and heavy metal has much higher uh, density so uh, density defines uh, the mass of the object so if i will start play mode right now you'll see that i will select this object and go to the rigid, rigid body component you can see that it mass is 41 and concrete mass is 11 and ice mass is 3 so every object get different mass depends on uh, which material you set here, which material type you set here. And this is, again, this is where you can change 
the density of this uh, default material properties. Also, uh, you can use the same material. As you can see right now, it's uh, none. But again, you can set here your own material for this material, um, physical material type. And now it will use, uh, again, as, I, as you can see, I set ice material to heavy metal. So next time I will use, I will start play mode. You will see that my my metal object, even though it has heavy metal here, its material is ice, and this ice material will be applied to all objects with heavy metal. So just an easy way to manage your objects. So you can just change, you can set up all the properties you need here in material presets, and uh, then just set different material types for the object inside rigid component here. Uh, Actually, let me turn on destructible again for this metal, so it will be possible to destruct, demolish it. Uh, also, you can see that both of these objects now are getting uh, demolished when they contact, but let me set them lower so the collision strength will be uh, different. Let me start play mode now. Okay, again. Uh, I uh, probably need to turn off this non-material here. So now you can see that this ice, uh, object is ice material type was demolished and uh, this rock with concrete material type, it was not demolished. And this is because, again, I have here different uh, solidity defined for ice and for my concrete material, as you can see, it's uh, 18 here and here just two. If I will set it lower value here, maybe two again two as well, and start play mode, you can see now that uh, concrete object also was demolished. So let me set it back to where it was before. And now you can see it's not getting demolished now. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.